Hello traders, it's Wednesday, September 28th. We're about two hours into trading. It's been a while since I've been able to get any videos out. I'm sorry, the last one that I did was on September 16th. It was a good one. End tap, bearish pick. September 16th, right in here. You can see the stock closed somewhere around the $69 level. You can see how the stock right now is all the way down to $63. Really nice move. About a 10% move, gradual drift lower, market's been super weak, we have been bearish. But I see things starting to change just a little bit here, so we're going to have a bullish pick today. I'm only looking for a bounce. I don't know that we're going to get anything more substantial right now. If you read the headlines, it is some scary stuff out there. So let's take a look at the market. Let's see what we're doing today. This is when we've typically seen some selling pressure during the course of the day. You can see how we have this long green candle at the high of the day. We've got this red candle that eats up more than half of it and follow through so that we're back below it. Not a great setup with this bearish 1OP cross. However, if we take a look at the daily chart, the picture looks even worse in many respects. First of all, we've got this really steep sell-off. We are testing the low of the year. In fact, overnight, the S&P 500 broke through the low of the year and we had a nice rally before the normal session started this morning. Is that a capitulation low? We're down about 40 points overnight, rallied all the way back. Now, I'm not buying it. I think it's more of a bounce than it is any kind of significant long-term technical capitulation. Why? Typically, we want to see those lows during the day because that's when everyone is super, super active. We want to see that big volume flush out. And then we want to see the market rally back during the course of normal trading. The move today, yes, the market sold off, it bounced, and we've been kind of bouncing our way higher and higher today. Not a lot of stacked green candles. And what you will see in a capitulation low is you'll see a watershed event that's even more dramatic than this. Red bar, red bar, red bar like this, except you'll see probably about seven or eight of them. And then you'll see exactly the opposite on the way back. You'll see green bars like this, but there won't be two of them. You won't see much overlap. You'll see massive volume, and you'll see probably six, seven, eight of them stacked. So we just fly all the way back, and we never retrace. We never look back. That is when you know that buyers finally feel that they're not going to have an opportunity to buy at this level again this year. A lot of asset managers are going to be looking for a year-end rally. They're going to be looking for an opportunity to buy cheap. Maybe they don't go full allocation here, leave some cash on the side, but at least they'll be able to get a pop and participate in a bounce into year-end. Typically, those bounces come towards the end of October. So we're about three weeks, four weeks early on that. Last week in October, first week in November, those are historically the two most bullish weeks of the year. But if you think about it, why are they the most bullish weeks of the year? Usually because the market has been rallying back from deeply oversold conditions. So I'm viewing this as not a capitulation low overnight. I believe that we're going to have a nice little bounce in here. If we take a look at the D1 chart on the S&P 500, we can see this support level at the low of the year, and the market has not really been able to make any progress here. So when the market sells off and it can't go any lower, we get a bounce, pretty much like what we started to see in here. Get this test 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 of that 390 level can't get through it get a long green bar like this closing on its high and then we get quite a nice bounce this doesn't look like much but let me tell you if you were short it sure hurt because that was about a 150 point s p rally from this level then the bottom fell out so 
we can get these little reprieves in here like this if we start to compress at a support level. Let's put up the major moving averages so you can see where they come into play. And we'll put up the 100 day and the 50 day. Those are the only ones that are even remotely close. So they don't really come into play here, but they were kind of coming into play here. We bo broke through both of them, couldn't get any lower. Then we get that pop back above it. Just a little head fake. Next sell off pending. I think we're going to get a little bit of a bounce in here. You know, we use the 10p indicator. We could take a look at that. We can see how that's shaping up. Because I'm focused on short-term trading right now, I'm really not looking at long-term time frames, but a one hour and a 30 minute will give me a pretty good feel for support and if it's starting to form in here. You can see how we had this nice bullish cycle and it started right about in here. That actually turned out to be a bullish, a bearish divergence because the market did not rally. We would expect this bearish cycle to produce a nice sell-off and it's not happening so it tells me that the next cross in here is probably going to be a pretty decent one if we go into a 30 minute cycle and again when these cycles don't produce it's as it's good information as well just as good as if it had produced results so here you get a bearish cross. We would expect the market to go down all the way down here. Well, from here, which is about right there, to this cross right here, didn't really go down. And now we've got another bullish cross. So there are technical indicators that we use. Bollinger Bands are another effective one. I don't use them all that often, to be quite honest with you, but... If we take a look at where they come into play on the daily chart, you can see that every time we start riding the lower end here, we get a bounce. We start riding the lower end, get a bounce. Ride the lower end, get a bounce. So here, we ride the lower end, we get a bounce. Riding the lower end, we should get a bounce. That does not mean that I am long-term bullish. I'm not. As I mentioned, from a seasonality standpoint, I think we still got three weeks or so. Bad news everywhere. New, bad news from China. Their economy is starting to falter. They've been uh, fighting COVID, zero COVID policy, starting to see some weakness again in the real estate sector. Uh, we've got Russia, Ukraine issues. We got higher energy prices, higher food prices. We've got interest rates climbing. We have uh, the UK, the Bank of England, stepping in to support their currency. So if you look at the headlines, there's all sorts of bad stuff looming right now. Watch the technicals. The technicals are telling us right now that we need to expect a bounce. How big is the bounce? How long is the bounce gonna last? I don't know, and I don't care. I'm a short-term trader. I'm looking for a move that's going to take place in the next few days. Maybe it'll play out in a week. If it starts taking three weeks to play out, that's going to be a sign of support. And if the height of this bounce gets nice and high and gets us right back into that 390 level or higher, even up to the 100-day moving average, then I'm really going to start to respect the move and think that we may have a little dip, but then the year-end rally could happen. If we just barely get off the deck here and we spend maybe two or three days in rally mode and then the bottom falls out, we make a new low of the year. Obviously, if the quality of this rally is horrible and we just can't get off the deck, that's going to be a sign that the selling pressure is still super heavy and we need to favor the short side. So go with the flow. Right now, we've got a little opportunity to trade from the long side. May only last a few days. Not going to read too much into it. Don't want to overstay your welcome. I'm going to show you a couple of stocks that fit the bill. So let's put up the five minute chart of the S&P 500. Let me tell you short term what I'm looking for right here. I'm going to take off the Bollinger Bands so that they don't obscure our chart and we'll just leave 1 OP up. So right now we've got this bearish 
cycle and we're getting a bullish cross in here and you can see from here to here from here to here this is a bearish cycle what happened went from here to here bullish market up indicator down 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 we would expect the market to go down 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 when it doesn't it tells us we should expect another leg higher from a bullish standpoint i would like to see us take out the high from the previous day and if we can do that it's also going to trigger some buy stops why would i think that well if you take a look at what happened this was the high from monday this is the high from tuesday okay starting to bump up against it well this is where sellers are pretty aggressive got resistance here that was the gap from last friday okay that's a resistance level right there so sell 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 when this le level here gives way we're going to see these short sellers cover so those are where they would put their buy stops right in there so you should get a nice little pop and we should fill in this gap very easily so what would i want to do i'd want to put a alert line right there probably coincides with that one but just in case i can click on that high you can see how close they are to one another so i think that's possibly a level that we could get through if not today maybe tomorrow and it wouldn't take that much and if that happens then we fill this little gap in right here and as i speak the spy is at call it 368 roughly and this is all the way up to 374 ish or so so that's a nice little move that we could get maybe a 60 70 point s p rally at minimum that's what i would expect to see out of this bounce maybe we get more if asset managers feel like everything is in place for them to come in and really dip their toe in the water we could go higher i'm going to go into a search i'm going to look for swing trades bullish search i'm going to go into pop bull first stock and only stock on the list is eli Lilly. what i like about eli Lilly is you can see this defined downward sloping trend line breach to the upside and we've also gotten through horizontal resistance right here and the stock has been able to hold its high of the day and there you can see very choppy little move higher in general i don't like stocks like this that retrace all the time retrace 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 but in the context of a very weak market it's going to be hard for you to find any bullish stocks on a daily chart because everything has been pounded so this looks good i like this if i were buying it i would want to see this high right here preserved so we want to make sure now that we have the breakout we want to see the open from today which was 333.53 we want to see that preserved and then the stock should be able to get some follow through on the upside love the big volume in here also so that's also very very nice so let's go into another search i like lily it is your pick of the day i'm going to give you another one that i like it's setting up well and i'll show you that stock right now and i went into my heavy buying list this is more of a short-term list netflix i really like it you can see how i have my gtc alert line well, pete what's so special about this stock well if you realize that it is up and holding its own when the market has been down then it looks a lot better so we'll put up one osi which measures strength relative to the s p 500 this is what we trade you can see the orange line is above zero this stock has been holding up extremely well it's above the 50-day moving average there's a small little downward sloping trend line right here that it's through i think it gets back up to this horizontal resistance easily and if it does it's going to start to fill in some of this gap it's above the 100-day moving average as well let me illustrate this another way what has the s p 500 been doing down 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 what's netflix been doing 
It's formed very nice support. It's compressing when the market has been going down. This is another sign of relative strength. I think it goes higher. Netflix is another stock that I really like. You can tr day trade it. You can also swing trade it. For swing trading, I'd be looking to sell an out-of-the-money bullish put spread below that 100-day moving average. We're only looking for a short-term market bounce right now. So keep your trade duration short. So sell weekly options. Maybe this Friday, maybe a week from Friday, but keep it short term. Take advantage of accelerated time premium decay and this little market bounce that I believe we're going to get here. Do not overstay your welcome. Netflix, take a look at that five minute chart. Oh yeah, stacked candles moving higher, relentless, even when the market has been chop, chop, chopping higher. Retracement, retracement, but you can see got a bullish cross right now. I think we're going to take out that high from yesterday. I think we're going to fill in that gap. Trade from the long side for a couple of days. If you are a longer term swing trader, I still think you need to be patient in here. I still think we got two or three weeks worth of work to do to make sure that we establish that support level. And then, yeah, we could see a nice little year end rally. That's all I've got for you today. Please leave your comments. I'm sorry I haven't been able to get videos out on a structured basis like I normally do. I'll try and do better. Good luck with your trading. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm going to keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.